Right, class is number 15. We're given two pieces of information. We've done problems similar to this. Uh, and obviously, we've done some problems similar to this today already. Um, so what do we do with this information? Well, we've got to figure out uh, what the right triangle looks like and what quadrant it's in. Okay. Um, now, there's a bunch of different ways of going about what find, finding out what quadrant it's in. Um, why don't we figure out what quadrant this part would be in. Tangent is positive. Tangent is going to be positive in the first quadrant up here and in the third quadrant down here. Secant is negative. Well, uh, I don't always see secant very well, but I do see cosine uh, fairly well. And cosine would be negative 15 over 17 because it's a reciprocal of secant. Cosine is x over r. The r can never be negative. Um, so we know that this function here um, is going to have a negative x value, which means it has to be in quadrant 2 or quadrant 3. Where do both of these functions match up? They both match up in quadrant 3, so I automatically know my right triangle is going to have a radius extended into quadrant 3, and then I immediately draw my y up, there's my right triangle. Okay, And now we can start filling in some of the data. At this point, the data for both of these may not always match up. In this case, I think it's going to match up nicely. But in, in some cases, it doesn't always match up. So at this point, you just want to pick one of the ratios and figure out all the sides of the triangle. So I'm just going to uh, pick tangent. Tangent is y over x. So my y value is 8. Um, 8. Oops. My y value is 8. And my x value is 15. Now, um, since I'm going in the negative direction for x, I know that's going to be negative. And I know since I'm going in the negative direction for y, I know that's going to be negative also. Using Pythagorean's theorem, 8 squared plus 15 squared equals, if I do that in my calculator, 8 squared plus 15 squared, 289. Um, the square root of 289 is 17. So this is going to equal 17 squared. So in this case, the information in both triangles matched up really nicely. The ratios will always be equal, but sometimes the numbers, you'll have to do some uh, tinkering. Uh, but that's why it's always, you always just kind of want to stick with one of the sides and then finish your triangle. So, I found tangent, secant, cosine, I need the other three. I need cotangent, which will be easy to find. Because I have tangent. Uh, sine, again, uh, not too bad to find after I, after I have the diagram. Sine is y over r y is negative 8, r is 17, uh, cosecant is the reciprocal. And there you go.